What you guys got another video here for you is Linux more secure than Windows that is a question that comes up quite a lot and it's normally by Linux users that all claim that Windows is garbage and it lets too many malware on the system and it's full of holes well let's put it this way Linux and Windows can't claim to be 100% bulletproof and to protect you 100% because all of them have security holes and major security flaws this video is sponsored by CD Key Sales. To get your Windows 10 Pro key, click on the Buy Now button, put in my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09. Apply this to get 25% off the purchase price. Submit your order, then choose to pay with your PayPal account. Then head over to the activation, change product key, copy your product key in and click Next. Then click on Activate to activate your Windows 10 Pro. If you look at the stack counter here, you can see Windows has a massive market share. So it's obvious to me that people are going to target Windows more because there's more people using uh, Windows operating systems than there is Linux. So let's do a simple analogy. Let's look at, say, a pickpocket, which is a criminal. If you put that one person in a room with another person, it's going to be very difficult for that person to pickpocket that one person. And that is a Linux user. Now let's put Windows people in that room. There's a ton of people in that room and that one criminal is going to be able to go in there and be able to pickpocket whoever he likes because there's more choice. That's why they target Windows over Linux. Now you'll get a lot of Linux users believing that they don't have any issues with Linux. But you can see here security flaw, the Linux kernel bug that surfaced after 15 years. That was in March 2021. It's a really serious bug. And a lot of Linux users are probably not going to want people to know about that because it's a 15 year old bug that's been around and it's to do with the kernel, which is very, very serious. So Linux is not immune to problems just like Windows. And yet you can see here a lot of people believe that Windows architecture makes it a lot easier for users to download malware compared to Linux and on Windows. All you need to do is download a virus and then double click on it and it will run and infect the operating system. And that is completely true to a degree. Now, many believe the design of Linux is more secure than Windows because of the way it handles user permissions. But that doesn't mean that Linux is immune to problems just like Windows. You can see here we're finding bugs way faster than we can fix them. That was Google sponsors two full time devs to improve Linux security. So it doesn't take much to go on the internet and do a bit of research and you'll find problems with Linux just like you will with Windows. So both operating systems are not perfect as we well know. But of course to the Linux user they will believe that ransomware does not exist on Linux and neither does malware or any other type of security hole or security flaw or any problems with the operating system. And that's because they've got their head up in the clouds, living with the goblins and the gnomes and the unicorns and the colored rainbows that live up there with them. And it's pretty simple, really. If you want to use Linux, by all means, go ahead and use Linux. It's a good operating system. You can use whatever flavor you want, install it on your system and be happy. You don't have to become a toxic troll and flame every Windows user because you're the minority that's using a Linux operating system as if you're some sort of special case. But as you can see here, seven year old make me root bug in Linux service, poll kit patched, which is another serious issue. But people just don't seem to want to believe that this happens on Linux based systems. And it does. But do I care? No, because I know both operating systems are not 100% bulletproof and neither of them are. They both have their own problems. It's just that Windows is more publicized on YouTube and on the Internet because more people use it, whereas Linux, only a small percentage use it. It's like you can fit all the users of a Linux on a postage stamp. That's how many people they've got. Now, we all know that Linux supports really old hardware and really old software, and that's probably why a lot of uh, people install Linux because they've got old PCs. But the problem is there comes a big, massive security risk when you're running really old hardware on in the modern day. That means you're going to end up with a lot more security holes and a lot more issues. 
because you're not patching those old hardware. As you can see here with these SCSI drives, they've been around for many, many years. And now they're finding issues with them and security holes. And, you know, I'll leave the links to all this stuff in the video description for you. And I'm not here to bash Linux. I never do that. And I never do that on my channel. But for some reason, I get a lot of Linux users lately just bashing Windows and bashing Windows 11. And it's a constant barrage and it just gets a little bit old and tiresome when you read comments like, oh, just install Linux. You know, if it was that simple, everyone would be using Linux. Now, Windows can do a lot of things that Linux can't do, and it will probably be same for vice versa. But a lot of people are trained to use Windows. The businesses use Windows. They're all trained in software like Adobe products. And also you've got other people that want to game on a regular basis. But can Linux do that with ease? No, it can't. There's a few issues. It's not quite there yet. It's getting better, but it's not perfect. And this is why it's not going to be as good as Windows until they are on the same playing field where they can just turn it on and play a game without any issues. Yes, it does play a lot of games, but there's still a lot of bugs with a lot of games and some of them are unplayable and some of them don't even load. So it's not perfect. So anyway, as you can see here, this was not about just bashing Linux. It's about bringing awareness to Linux users to make them realize that the Linux operating system is not the most perfect operating system itself. But it's not my job to make videos like these to bash Linux and to make Linux look bad because I want people to use Linux and I want people to use Windows. I want people to be happy and use whatever operating system they want to use. It's not a competition at the end of the day, and it doesn't really matter whether you use either operating system. And just think before you start commenting on people's videos and don't become a toxic troll as if you're using the most superior operating system out there when everyone else who uses Windows is just the shit on your shoe. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one clears it up. Big shout out to all my YouTube members. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.